Now we are going to draw the beam. So to draw this, you need to take your cursor, move it to the draw menu, click on the draw menu. So now you find draw frame cable tender. So the shortcut is if you want to quickly get this, you just need to take your cursor, move it to the left side bar here. As you can see here, we, we, you're going to find draw frame cable. So click on draw frame cable. So now this boss is going to appear. So it is saying the session is uh, F sec because we have not defined any session property. That is why it is saying F sec. So we need to define the session property first before it is going to give us the option of the session property which we define. So we are going to define that later. So let's just leave that for the now. Then now for the moment releases, we have uh, two options. We have a uh, continuous and we have a uh, pin. So I'm going to quickly explain this. For the continuous, if we draw, uh, for the continuous, if we draw our beam, that is from this grid point A to grid point E, every grid point here is going to be continuous. That is, there is going to be moment release at, at every grid point. But if we select a pin and we draw the beam from grid point A to grid point E, every grid point here, every grid point, it is not going to be continuous. Every grid point is going to be pinned. And when it is pinned, meaning there is no moment release. So in reality, all beams are continuous. So it is better for us to uh, choose the moment releases as continuous because this is going to be a single beam. So there need to be a moment release at the grid point. So we have to choose continuous. So I'm going to uh, change the moment releases to continuous. So now we can draw the beam. So you click on the grid point A. So to draw the beam, click on the grid point A then then you move over to uh, the grid point E because this is going to be a single beam. So you click on grid point E. So now to, to remove this uh, arrow, all you need to do, you just need to press the escape key. So now here we have it. So now as you can see, this is the uh, beam. So let's click on this. So as you can see, this is uh, the beam. So this is a single beam. So now we need to assign the support reactions to this um, beam. So first thing you need to do, you first need to deselect this. And now to assign the support um, uh, reaction, we first need to select the joint we want to assign the support reaction. We know that at joint A, we have a pin support, while at joint B, we have a roller support. So, so first of all, we are going to assign the pin support at uh, joint A. So we need to select joint A. So you click on joint A, so click on this. So now you go to assign. So go to the assign menu. So whenever you want to assign any value in SAP 2000, you need to go to the assign menu. So click on assign, then you need to go to the joints because we want to assign the support reaction to the joint. Then you need to go to restrain because support reactions are restrained. So click on restrain. So now we have different type of restrain. We have a fish support, pin support, ruler support, and we have no restraint. So we want to assign a pin support, so click on pin. So click on this, then after that you, you click on pin, then after that you click on apply. Then you click on OK. So as you can see, uh, we now have a pin support here. So to assign the, the, the ruler support here, you click on this joint, then you click on assign, then you click on joints, then you click on restrain, then you click on roller support, so then you click on apply, then click on OK. So as you can see, here we have it, we have the pin support at point A and we have the roller support at point E.